Hello friends, this video on sorting materials into groups part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next property is solubility. Solubility is, uh, for example, you think of this, you have a sugar solution. You put two teaspoons of sugar into water and mix it well. What do you get? You get a watery liquid. You are you do not get to see the particles of the sugar because it gets completely dissolved in the water. So we say that sugar is soluble in water. Whereas if you take uh, two teaspoons of sand and put it into water, what happens? You are still it doesn't mix properly with water. So you are still able to see the sand particles inside water. So we say that sand is insoluble in water. So a soluble solution would look somewhat like this and insoluble particles when put into water would look somewhat like this. Now here we are going to discuss solubility in water. However, solubility can be discussed for any other liquids. For example, a particular material can be soluble in oil, it can be soluble in water, it can be soluble in any other fluid. So let's first talk about the soluble substances. So these are those substances which dissolve in water completely. So let us look at some examples of soluble substances. Think of sugar, salt. These are some very common examples. If you, I mean, I'm very sure that you would have had uh, uh, the the lime juice where you put some uh, lime lemon juice and you also add some sugar and salt and you mix them all together in water and then you get a completely dissolved solution where you do not get to see either the sugar uh, crystals or the salt particles so everything gets completely dissolved in water so that's how you get a very clear and clean solution even liquids are also soluble in water, some liquids, for example, vinegar is one such example, lime juice is another such example. So these are liquids, but they are completely soluble in water. Whereas when we talk about substances which are insoluble, that is, even if we try to mix them, no matter how much ever hard you try to mix them in water completely, but they will not dissolve completely. You will still be able to see their particles inside water. So the best example to understand this would be so, uh, sand. So when you put some sand inside water, doesn't matter how much ever you stir, but what you get is some sand will uh, remain at the bottom. So you'll be able to see the particles. So you, you will actually not get a uniform clean solution. So sand is an example of insoluble substance. Chalk powder is another example of insoluble substances. So these insoluble substances, sometimes they settle at the bottom of the liquid. Sometimes uh, they float on the surface of the liquid, but you will always be able to see these particles distinctly. A lot of liquids are also insoluble. For example, uh, coconut oil, uh, you have uh, other cooking oil. So these oils, mustard oil, coconut oil, these are also insoluble in water. So if you try to mix them with water, just try it out yourself. Take some mustard oil, put it in a glass of water. And what do you see? You can very distinctly see the mustard oil layer and the water layer separately. So generally the mustard oil layer will settle at the top. So that's how you will be able to understand that they do not mix completely. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.